We're committed to developing a world-class centre of research and development within this hospital, working closely with the staff, the research scientists and clearly involving our patients at every level. In 2006 we moved into a brand new PFI hospital with over 1,250 beds. This makes it one of the largest hospitals in the country and the facilities are state of the art. Over the subsequent years, exciting developments have taken place across all fronts within the hospital. Our major areas of research interest include metabolic medicine, reproductive medicine, musculoskeletal and orthopaedics, and cancer. Our clinical research facilities are of the highest order and have been recently accredited by NOCRI in 2010. We were very lucky when we designed this hospital, which was built in 2006, we were able to incorporate research within the design. So we have specific areas that we can carry out research within the hospital, adjacent to clinical areas, which is very beneficial for both our patients and our clinicians. An exciting new development here is the establishment of the Human Metabolism Research Unit, which is a partnership between the Warwick Medical School and the University Hospital here, which has world-class facilities for studying whole body human metabolism. This includes two chambers for whole body calorimetry, and our particular instruments are actually the most advanced anywhere in the world. It allows us to study how much energy somebody is burning and what they're burning. Is it fat? Is it carbohydrate? We can also study the effect of interventions, be it food, activity, or drug development. We can also collect samples, serum, or biopsies of fat or muscle, etc. We're setting up a biomedical research unit in reproductive health. This is going to be a, a unit that coordinates the efforts of lots of different groups of people into solving problems suffered by patients. We aim to revolutionise patient care in pregnancy. What we'll be able to do is look at the lining of the womb and other features of the patient before pregnancy. This enables us to give interventions and treatment and tests very early in pregnancy that will make a big difference to preventing all the complications all the way through pregnancy. The Island Cancer Research Network was established in 2002 and during that time we've entered over 8,000 patients into clinical trials. We recruit from four cancer trusts, one of which is the University Hospital Coventry in Warwickshire and that's where we base our service here at UHCW. We have approximately 70 actively recruiting clinical trials on our portfolio at any one time. These are mainly phase two, three and four trials. They are mainly drug trials, chemotherapy, hormone therapy trials, but we also have radiotherapy trials and surgery trials and epidemiology studies. Our purpose-built unit houses our team of experienced clinical and administrative staff, which helped to make the centre the success that it is. The Clinical Trials Treatment Centre allows us to provide a wide range of new and novel treatments to our patients. We look forward to developing our service to include earlier phase clinical trials. One of the key components to our research strategy is the close collaboration that we have with Warwick Medical School and commercial organisations. We have a collection of medical technology here that exists nowhere else in the UK. Our challenge is to use that technology to have the highest level of care for the patients we serve and to provide the best teaching and research. These are exciting times for the hospital as we integrate both research and clinical care for the best possible outcome for our patients.